Bye. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Baked. Today we have three contestants. Jordan, the dietitian, Peter, the culinary student, and Zach, the guy who can make a pretty mean brownie. In today's contest, the contestants will create a meal using ingredients only found in their dorm room, which are found on the table. Hi, I'm Peter, the culinary student, and I'm here because m many uh, people think that just because I'm a farm boy, I don't have what it takes to become a chef. Well, I'm here to prove that wrong because I'm going to be making a cheeseburger a salad which beats the taco salad hands down and I guarantee all of you that it's going to make me win this. Yeah, I guarantee all of you that I'm not some second-hand uh, Grizzly Adams. And I'm Jordan, the dietetics major at Southeast Missouri State University and I just cannot wait to cook for, he for everyone here. Um, I know that I have lots of fresh fruits, vegetables, grains in my dorm room. And I just can't wait. I'm thinking about making a salad, probably with kale and avocados, quinoa, everybody's favorites, really. I just want to make food that is good for the body and the soul. And I'm Zach, and uh, I just kind of wandered in here. I'm pretty hungry, so I think I'm going to make one of my brownies. A brownie, that's it? That's all you've got? A brownie? With my special ingredient, it's all I'm going to need. Okay, I don't want to know, really. Don't want to know. All right, let's have a look. Let's see what we got under here. Oh, my God. Wait, there's wow. no way this is what was in my <laughs> this, right. this is crazy. This must be from a different room. Absurd. I thought I had, like, tons of stuff. <sighs> so did I. You obviously do. Yeah. <laughs> I got all I need right there? here. Oh my gosh. <sighs> wow. I don't know is... what I'm going to make. Yeah. Well, contestants, I wish you good luck. For those of you back home, let's get baked. We'll see you right after the break. It's going to be hard work, but you've never let that stop you. At Southeast Missouri State, we put that will to do to work for you. You won't just learn in lectures. You'll get your hands dirty, your skills strengthened, and whatever you do, you won't be going it alone. You can do this because you earn everything you get, and what you'll earn here will pay off out there. You don't want to hear just a lecture. You need to get in there and do the work. At Southeast Missouri State University, you'll perform on stage to sold out crowds, lead a technology evolution in your own classroom. Whatever you do here, you will never do it alone. Because at Southeast, we'll never tell you what you can't do. We are here to show you all that you can do. Welcome back to Bake. If you're just tuning in, we have three contestants trying to cook up a meal using ingredients only found in their dorm room. Let's take a look at what they're doing. Well, I guess I can try to make an attempt of something that uh, another friend of mine taught me, um, Italian ramen noodle spaghetti. My uh, options are limited. Yeah, talk about limited. Got like no ingredients over here, thought I had tons of stuff in my dorm room and apparently all I have is cereal and um, frappuccinos so guess I'll make a typical you know healthy and easy um, bowl of Cheerios and uh, since I don't have milk uh, I guess um, vanilla Starbucks frappuccino will do the trick maybe it'll be good like for a late night study session Maybe. Yeah, I'm just happy nobody had meat in their dorm room. I just, I don't think I could work next to that. I mean, I am a vegetarian. You don't say. That's yeah. a nice purse you have there. 
Thank you. It's this really expensive Italian leather. I mean, it's just, it's so great. <sighs> but yeah, no, I cannot understand that inhumane treatment of animals. It's just, it's barbaric, really. <sighs> yeah, well, my, uh, Spaghetti's taking a little bit to, to cook, but it should be done on time. Yeah, this is the first time that I'm making it, and I'm trying to keep my confidence level up. Is that oregano? No, that's my special spice, but uh, you can, can I, use it. Oh, thank you. Ew, it smells. That cost me $5. <sighs> you paid $5 for that? <laughs> you should go to a new store. Ah, oh, oh, crap. Oh my gosh! You just got all of your noodles in my cereal! What? Judge! What seems to be the problem here? Peter ruined my dish. Is that true, Peter? I don't know what all the fuss is about. The thing uh, burned my hand off. I'm afraid I'm going to have to disqualify you. <clears throat> How about Thank I you. give you uh, this to change your mind? Are you trying to bribe me? That is a 50% off uh, Pizza Hut coupon. Well, I guess since I didn't see anything, I can't do Thank anything. You. Excuse me? You saw that. I can't say I did. I was over there. Oh my goodness, he messed up my dish and all he has to do is give you some free pizza and you're fine with it? Um, like I said, I didn't see a thing. Oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. Amateurs, I'm working with amateurs. Well, that's all we have right now. We'll see you right after the break. It's going to be hard work, but you've never let that stop you. At Southeast Missouri State, we put that will to do to work for you. You won't just learn in lectures. You'll get your hands dirty, your skills strengthened, and whatever you do, you won't be going it alone. You can do this because you earn everything you get and what you'll earn here will pay off out there. You don't want to hear just a lecture. You need to get in there and do the work. At Southeast Missouri State University, you'll perform on stage to sold out crowds, lead a technology evolution in your own classroom. Whatever you do here, you will never do it alone. Because at Southeast, we'll never tell you what you can't do. We are here to show you all that you can do. Welcome back to Baked. For those of you just tuning in, our contestants here have just completed their meals. Uh, <laughs> right now, we're going to do a little bit of judging. Peter, go ahead and try and sell me your dish. All right, well, first, uh, since I didn't have much to go on, um, I just uh, um, put together an Italian ramen noodle spaghetti that I uh, boiled for 10 minutes and then separated the boiling water for, from it and then mixed it with uh, Italian sauce and uh, seasoned it with some garlic powder and some salt here and there. And uh, I put it out uh, for a, li a little bit to let it set settle. Okay, now who taught you this meal? My, a friend of mine uh, back home. Only thing is, I, I don't know where he uh, moved off to. Uh, he, he, he just moved away, uh, and I thought that I'd try to do this, what he taught me, and see if I could make him proud. Gotcha. So is this like a family recipe? He, he was like a brother to me, so yes, I believe it's like a family recipe. Well, I can't wait to try it. Oh my gosh, you said you're a culinary student. Yes. How long have you been in culinary school? A year and a half. You're gonna have to go a lot longer than that. I'm sorry. Jordan, sell me your dish. Well, since uh, I was kind of limited on my ingredients, I decided that I was just gonna do a typical breakfast meal of cereal and milk, but um, to put my own spin on it, and because I don't have milk, I decided I'd add these nice Starbucks Frappuccinos in there, just kind of give it some caffeine, a little more flavor, and, you know, all of the added nutrients that come with uh, cereal and Frappuccinos. 
I see. Mmm, very tasty. Very creative. It's, it's, it's got like a little bit of a bite to it. I think it might be the uh, caffeine in it. Um, it's not too much, but it's enough to waken me up. However, I don't feel like my heart's going to explode. Um, the creativity is, is spectacular. You know, I, I know that I'm getting the nutrients that my body needs in order to have a full day. And with the caffeine, I know I'm not going to be drowsy, falling asleep in class. And uh, overall, I think is a very good dish. Thank you. Zach, what do you got? <laughs> what do you mean? What did you cook? I made brownies. So where are your brownies? I ate them. Why did you eat your own meal? Because <laughs> I was hungry. You, you know you can't win yeah, a cooking is... show without giving me something to eat, right? Do you want some chips? No, I don't want chips. You didn't They're even cook those. No, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to disqualify you. You have nothing to give to me. This, this is just unacceptable. I think these things are starting to kick in. Have you seen this chick's purse? <laughs> oh my gosh, enough with the purse, really. Oh. It's been enough. Overall, the decision's going to be a little tough. Um, Jordan, I really like your dish. It was very creative, very tasteful. Um, like I said earlier, I know it's going to keep me up. I know it's going to give my body the nutrients it needs. Um, I really liked it. Uh, Peter, unfortunately, I absolutely hated your dish. I expected a lot more out of you, so I'm going to have to go with Jordan. Thank you. It's just such an honor. For those of you watching, thanks for watching. <laughs> You've been watching Bait. <laughs>